Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about check menu item in Java NetBean. So let's start. First we will create a new project by clicking on this file new uh, Java application like next. Here you will get the application name as uh, J checked menu items and now uncheck this uh, create main class and click finish now it will take some time to create the project the project is created now I'll come here and create a new JFrame form in this uh, default package and I will name this menu item now I'll click finish now I'll drag in a menu bar here so I will right click on this uh, edit and I will delete this now I will change this uh, to uh, change text to uh, show messages messages now now I will uh, drag in this uh, menu item ch checkbox on this it is added now I will drag in a second one it is added to and now a third one now we gonna sample simply add a few messages to these uh, items now I will change the text to message one and the text of this to the second one is not selected so I will pass select this message 2 and now I will just select the third one as well now it is it has created the checked item mm, method now I will come here again and uh, edit text and this will change to message 3 and now I will double click on this go to design again double click on this go to design again and double click on this uh, now all the three click events are cre created now I'll go to design and let's run this and let's see how it looks Now if I show you, you can see we have different uh, uh, check um, menu items. So message 1, message 2 and message 3. Now I'll come to this uh, design and I'll click on this first one and uh, right click on it and go to properties and I will remove this selected so that the check bar check does not appear it with it by default if I run this again and now if I show you you will see that the password one is not checked and the other two are checked so I'll close it again and I will unselect these two as well so I will right click on this properties and now I will come here to this close now I will come to this message 3 right click properties and select it uncheck now I'll close it down. Now I'll come to source and to this uh, uh, click event of this J checked menu item. So I'll say if J checked box menu 
control space item 2 it is item 2 dot is uh, selected then show me a message hmm. j option control space dot show message control space enter and now I'll show here the message this is message one one and now I'll copy this and I will show here selected or checked and now I'll copy this line and in else I will paste it and now this is message one unselected or deselected unselected now I'll copy these two lines see control V and this is a uh, three so I'll come to three this will be two because it's the second uh, check box menu item so I will make this two and this become three and now I'll make this three this as well three and now I'll paste it here too here in this I will control V this and now I'll make this one this one will also be one and this one is already one now I will run this and now if I click on this and check this message one this is message three so i will come to the source and which one is three actually this is message one so i'll copy this control x this and now i will paste it here uh, here and now I'll cut this and I'll paste it here now if I run this and we will check now message 1 this is message 1 ok unselected this is message 1 unselected and this is message 1 unselected why it is showing unselected ok for both uh, types so this is my message one selected if okay but the, actually this is one is three so I'll th make it three and this one is one so I'll make it one now if I run this uh, I'll stop it first yes and now if I run this Now if I click on this, this is message 1, this is message 1, select it, ok, and now if I again select this, uncheck this, it is unselected, now you can see this, now this is message 2, so it's just showing message 3, uh, uh, and this will show message 2, ok, now these both are selected, so we can change it uh, here quickly, if I close it down, and close this one as well and now if I come here and cut this control X and now if I come here make some space and control V this and this is what message 2 this is 2 so now I can control X it 
and now I'll come here and paste it here now control V um, and now this is uh, menu item 1 now all this confusion is created because I've now, uh, I did not change the variable names so that is why all this com confusion is uh, uh, created now it will work fine this is one selected this is two selected and this is three selected and similarly if I again click this is message one unselected this is two unselected and this is three unselected now I'll close it down and uh, close it down and now I will come to the design and now I'll show how you can change the variable name so I'll come here and change the variable name and I can make this uh, uh, message one one okay and now if I double click on this you can see now it become message one and you can see the here we have this message one so you can uh, change the variable name so then this kind of confusion will not be there so this is all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you